hello friends hope you all are doing good and uh, in this video i'm going to discuss about why every qa uh, should at least have that basic development okay so just like every team needs an all rounder so like in cricket that's in perspective of cricket so every like uh, software team also need someone uh, who can like do basic development and uh, at least like if you are a qa and if you know development then it is always going to supplement your testing right so let's let's see how how you can uh, like tackle it and uh, for like what is my target audience in this video and uh, i am recommending this uh, to anyone who is like uh, who have more than 3 years of experience because for the freshers i'll suggest you to uh, like just uh, like lay the foundation of testing and learn testing first before moving to development or like if you are coming from de from development then uh, like you don't need to go in this path but still like this is for uh, for those guys who have like 3 to 5 or 7 years of experience and who has like who are into um, manual plus automation and like who are looking for something new to discover right so this is more regarding these these guys and when like you should start you should start learning uh, development so let's first when your automation skills are good and you have done at least like selenium and you know at least javascript and the modern uh, automation tools like either playwright or cypress okay so once uh, you are comfortable with this and like i'm assuming that you know api and like little bit of apm okay so this is the prerequisite of starting this development for qa okay because the thing is that like uh, once uh, we move to 7 years of experience to 8 9 years of experience then like uh, i personally feel that uh, we we start we stop learning right but uh, this uh, this should this, this uh, should not be the case and uh, we should always like have something to look forward to and like this is very interesting thing as i have done some research and i have like taken some courses so this this will be covered in how and i'll cover it later so the benefit of learning uh, basic development is that uh, so what happens traditionally what used to happen is that uh, like we generally get let's say you get a build okay and you test it and the like uh, normal software testing life cycle comes into picture stlc and then you raise bug close them and you give a sign off okay and that is ready to move it to uat or prod so that is our traditional uh, life cycle okay but now what is happening is that if you if you have an understanding of how like you are building pipelines so let's say uh your development is writing code and uh, right now they have released the version 1.1 of the software right so you should know how are they building files by building i mean um, how are they generating that dot war files okay where are they putting like what is the web server you are using either like apache okay and where what is your hosting server and like this is generally in uh, physical machine maybe an aws machine or azure machine machine and you have an ip plus port so this port is listening to this web server so once you have that understanding uh, once you start learning development then uh, you will generate uh, these these war files and you are going to deploy it to um, any like tomcat server okay and after it like just like everyone else like when we type www.google.com so what is happening that dns is uh, like corresponding to an ip address and we are actually hitting on that ip address right so like every qa should have this understanding and once you start uh, with these things then this like learning learning the devops uh, part will be a supplement for you 
okay um i'm sure like i'm not confusing you because the thing is that uh, these are important things and uh, until unless you start learning them you will not appreciate it because then you will be stuck in your uh, day to day testing things and uh, with the fast uh, moving world and nowadays like there is a fear of recession so don't have to worry about that um, if you have learnt all this because again uh, these things are very much necessary believe me and this is going to help you in your shift left testing so what is uh, this uh, shift left testing is that once we get a build so even if we uh, if we have the access uh, to the development code and they have not like push it uh, like they have not released the codes and if we have the access to it and if you can actually understand what development is writing what kind of unit test cases can you contribute to the unit test cases okay this is the first like major uh, inclusion which as a automation engineer you can uh, like contribute in your development project is like start writing your unit test cases okay that way it is going to supplement although like dev used to write it right because at their part but just look at their test cases and try to contribute and add more test cases so like that is one part of uh, this shift left testing okay now coming to the basic uh, development courses so i have this course uh, so uh, so she is dr angela yu and uh, i got this course from udemy i am already enrolled in this course and let's see it is although it is an very extensive course almost like 70 hours of content but if you see that they cover like html css bootstrap till here i think um, everyone knows how html and css works because we generally uh, work with dom and like all the elements but even if you are not familiar then this is the like right time and right place for you to start okay after it the javascript because um, as you all know that while building the framework the automation framework we like generally tackle those situation in in which like selenium is not working so there we use javascript so by learning like by developing things in javascript it is 100% going to supplement your like it will it will build up your automation skills also okay the document object module which we use then again like jquery unix although i'm not suggesting like uh, you remember all these things but at least once go through it see these databases sql so this is this is a gold mine okay and it is only like although it is three four double nine but you can get it in like 500 or 600 rupees so that is also a good part now coming back to here that i have told you uh, this course udemy course okay just take it out and just purchase it whenever you get time so the thing is that like i also got to hear so many people that they don't have time they are uh, they are busy in their job so the thing is that like even if you are uh, like even with commuting and your nine hours of work uh, if you are do uh, like what not donating but uh, if you are uh, what's the word if you are putting 11 hours of work in your job and with let's say you sleep for eight hours 19 hours but you can take out still like it this is 19 and two hours for your everything else but you are still left with two to three hours okay so you have to devote these from this also like you have to devote at least two hours daily on your learning because these are the things uh, like what happen with what used to happen with me is that like i'll start a course then after two to three days i will like put it down then the what happens next is that uh, those three days of learning it also goes to waste if you stop learning right so you have to make a framework your daily a framework and if you would like to uh, make uh, such kind of framework like the the time framework what i'm ex uh, what i mean to say okay you have to devote your time in such a way that at least you get those two hours okay and after it then this devops part which i have already covered that uh, this pipeline stuff so once you start 
building your muscles in development then this is this is this will also be a cake walk for you like it will be very easy for you because if you if you see the syllabus if you are good in coding and you have that analytical skill then everything will come naturally to you right so with this i think uh, you will start learning development and even if you have any doubt just comment down below and i'll be more more than happy to help you thank you guys